One question I have uh, through you, Madam Chair, is in terms of um, what this ultimately is going to mean for the consumers who are going to be pumping their gas. Um, is there any, I know that the, the, they have, the, the DEEP has done some studies and has uh, provided some information in terms of, uh, you know, what this will cost the consumer. Um, is, is there any particular cap that's going to be in place from this legislation through you, Madam Chair? Thank you, Representative Harding, for the question, and it's a very important one. Uh, yes, the bill does contain a cost containment reserve. Um, the first uh, uh, auction will be held in 2023, uh, so it's important to recognize uh, that there would not be any impact from PCI on gas pricing uh, until that time. Uh, per initial projections uh, for the year 2023 are at $0.05. Cents but there is, as I said, a cost containment reserve um, and there will be allowances held back um, to provide for that uh, containment uh, in fluctuating price. Uh, th thank you, Madam Chair. And, and if I may, through you again, Madam Chair. Um, so I understand that that's projection that is five cents, um, but, but is there a certain cap that, that it can't exceed a certain uh, amount through you, Madam Chair? Yeah, thank you, Representative Harding. That cap is nine cents. Okay, th thank you, Madam Chair. So it could go as high as nine cents just in the first year. Is that correct for you? That's correct, Representative Harding. But I will say that uh, the department will be watching this closely and will have a holdback of allowances for auction to prevent the, the price fluctuation to be uh, too great for uh, the end user. Um, but through you, Madam Chair, my understanding is that uh, there potentially may be a cap of 26 cents in subsequent years. Um, th does that sound accurate to you, Madam Chair? It does sound accurate. I don't want to commit to that, but that would be by, again, year 2032. And this is just in, in general, uh, in terms of what this bill is. Um, I, I know there's a lot of schematics to, to how this bill operates in terms of how the additional revenue comes into the state. Um, but at the end of the day, no matter how we, we, we examine it, um, this is going to be a tax on, on the consumers and our constituents. We are voting today to implement a gas tax. That, that, that's truly what this is. Admittedly, from the proponents of this bill, uh, the, gas, the gas tax for all constituents, for our constituents, are going to go up by at least five cents. It's, it's five cents at minimum per gallon for, for, for our, um, our constituents, and as much as nine cents in the first year. As much as nine cents per gallon on, in the first year for our constituents as we're voting on today. And then as much as 26 cents in, in additional years. I mean, I, I, just, I, I just don't see how we could possibly be implementing this sort of gas tax on our constituents at this time. I understand it's implemented in 2023, but um, it's an extremely regressive tax. Um, you have to, to, to pay for gas to, to get back and forth to work. I know we're working on important initiatives to try to, to, to uh, introduce electric vehicles and uh, in, into our, um, our fleets of cars here, here, here throughout the state. And I think that's great. And I think we should continue working on that. But to implement the program, which effectively will be, uh, is intended to um, prevent our constituents from being able to fill up their gas tank to the point where they, they, they can no longer do it. Uh, it is not a policy that I think we should be voting on here in the state of Connecticut.